Hey guys, what is up? Stan Pro Pro. Let me fix my mic. Thank you. Sorry guys. Um, Alright, so anyways, this is going to be a tutorial on parallax mapping. So, let's just make a new map. Or, not make a new one, but like, give this some properties. Uh, go ahead. No, what? No, thank you. Just, I'm just going to make a little map. Um, this was requested by, I think it's Zenwing. I think. I could be wrong with that. I was supposed to by somebody. Anyways. <laughs> uh, what? No. It's out of back, man. I want out of back. <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. I'm incredibly tired. Uh, here we go. The parallax background. See, I have all these and this cool stuff. Well, like... Oh, I like I like the ocean, too. That's awesome, actually. Let me go there. <clears throat> um, if you want to make your own thing, like how... Um, Okay, I think, yeah, I think Zenwing wants to make it where you can kind of see, oh, yes, I know, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Zenwing wants to make it to where you can um, kind of like see a castle in the distance. How you would do that is, for example, like you would just open a program called the GIMP, or even MS Paint would work. Uh, you just take a screenshot um, of the castle, how it would look in the editor without any events, of course. Um... You just take a screenshot of that, and you pretty much scale it to the same size as, which is why I recommend GIMP, by the way, and make life a lot easier on you, trust me. Um, where is, parallax. <laughs> you would just kind of scale it to the size of one of these, which you can just open this up in GIMP and you can get the dimensions of that. And you would have, you would just paste it like, some here, somewhere here, and, oh, let's show the background, let's show it in the background. Um, don't worry about how this would look. Um, I guess it would probably be better if you had a larger image. I don't know if that would be compatible. I don't really know how it works with uh, VX Ace. But, yeah. Here, I'll show you how this is going to look. Let me change the thing to exterior. I'm just going to kind of make. This is just going to be like a. Or just like a slap together kind of thing. Huh. You know, it would probably make a lot more sense if this was sand. But, this is 2013. Since when has anything made sense? So, err. <laughs> okay. Now, player, you can go down here so we can. No, hey. Take it out. Thank you. We can test this. Show you how it looks. And of course, you can't really see the sand. Like, ooh, it's actually kind of cool. I think it's set up to where it automatically stretches itself or something, like to the size of the map. I could be wrong. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much. You would just take like a screenshot of uh, your castle and then just make it into a parallax. Am I saying that right? <laughs> Well, that made everything worse. That was that was genius of me. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I'm back. Um. Yeah, see? Oh, can't see it. See? Pokey sand. With the pokey in the sand. Okay, no, I'm done. No. So, yeah, that's basically parallax. Here, you know what? Let's make like this giant path so we can kind of see everything, like herb thing. <laughs> no, I could have just held, held control. So, yeah, like if you want to make like this giant cliff or something, and so it'll look kind of cool. Promise. Only problem is, if you had like this, that obviously does not make sense. So you just kind of have to stretch the thing like all the way to the like making it look like it actually goes down more. So if you wanted to have something like right here, you wouldn't have to completely. Uh, 
Pokemon. Why do I keep starting there? So, yeah, this pretty much is parallax mapping. In a nutshell. This is probably the best map I've ever designed, man. What up, man? I can fly in the sky. Fly in the sky. Okay. Uh, alright, so thanks for watching.